other news. This is some Sony Marvel news. So apparently some of the details of the Spider-Man contract between Marvel and Sony have come out. Um, I can't say they're 100% true or 100% wrong. This is just what I've read. Could be rumors, so don't take it as um, 100%. Take it as a rumor. But apparently the contract states that if Spider-Man Far From Home doesn't make a billion dollars, Sony takes back all um, creative decisions of Spider-Man from Marvel. But it also says that if they, they their contract breaks that Sony can't use Tom Holland as Spider-Man and they can't use like Vulture, Mysterio um who else I think maybe Scorpion any of those characters as they are seen in the MCU so like they, I think they can still use those characters, but not the way they've been created within the MCU universe, uh, which is weird, very weird. I don't know if, I mean, let's be honest, Spider-Man: Far From Home is already at like eight hundred million dollars worldwide. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a billion, so I don't think they really have anything to worry there. But let's be real, Sony. Spider-Man has become more relevant for you guys again because of Marvel. So I don't see you not working with them is a benefit for you. I'll give it to you. You killed a Spider-Man, Spider-Verse, best Spider-Man movie in my opinion. In my opinion, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is the best Spider-Man movie hands down. Number one in my book. That's the way it is. Far From Home is like number three or four. But we won't get into that. That's a whole nother discussion. But you did, did, uh, did, did, you did do really good with Venom. Somehow that made like $800 million. I thought it was okay. It was okay. It had moments, but it was all dark. It's hard to see most of the time. But you've been able to get back on footing with Spider-Man and it all stemmed from putting him in the MCU so it's in your best interest to keep working with Marvel I'm not saying that because I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man and I would look forward to seeing Miles Morales into the MCU live action but I'm just saying it's probably in your best interest um, Yeah, how do you guys feel about that do you feel Sony should stay letting spider-man play in the mcu or do they just take it back and try to do their old thing again let me know hit me up blackie cool instagram blackie cool twitter and of course blackie cool podcast at gmail let me know how you guys feel about what's up guys that was just a small clip from my podcast if you want to check out the full podcast go ahead and go over to anchor and search blackie cool podcast or hit up spotify stitcher pocket cast or anywhere um podcasts can be found also, you can look in the description of this video, and I'll have a link to where you can go directly to the podcast. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.